Okay, here. That's the direction of the palm, hands on here. So first you come from knees, forward, backward, to adjust the sitting bone. Then we take the direction of the palm on the mat, this direction, and hand is here. Okay, it goes a little bit forward and right be in front of us. So this side is more difficult for me to press back. So this, these fingers are pressing that direction, okay? And it's gonna push the mat away, but it's gonna push the mat towards that direction, like that, as if, but it's not going to move. So it's stuck and wants to go to that direction. And this one wants to go to that direction. So it's going to rest on the knee. So we will exit and then we are going to open this part of the ribs and it's gonna be a twist. So this is to be felt on this moment. That is its domino effect. So it's gonna relieve the shoulders. It's going to give a twist um, to the spine. The spine is going to twist and it's also going to give a relief to the neck and both shoulders will have effect on it and it's going to be applied on both sides the same principle so i will do only one side or two we will see so these are pointing that and this is pointing that and then we will try this way resting okay let's give it a try and see what happens sitting bones really also pushing and the knees really going down for because of this movement really going down that is really going to lift this up and from down here grounding down up here let's see what's what's more to do by the exploration of this principle so the upper torso only going uh, forward that's why first this push happens on this and see what happens here very important all awareness of all these little details it's all about that so now these are stuck we can hardly see from a camera view it's only by inhalation that lengthening is occurring between the for the twist And the hips are parallel and the lower belly goes in for each exhalation the same principle we turn and the gaze point absolutely and we come back and let's uh, try when it's bent like this. What's the difference? That needs to be discovered. <laughs> let's go this side. It seems like that. Goes like that. And goes like this. So these are the directions. We go forward and twist and this thigh is really moving in towards the groin there is space happening between the ribs and the pelvis pelvic floor This is going forward, this is going back, gaze point, and coming 
move back. Actually, what's happening to the hips is more or less the same principle with Triangmukha Ekapada Pashima Uttanasana or Virasana, although it's like the, na, the hip, the movement of the hip here, when we do this. But that I still really need to discover. I for a moment had that same sensation of what happening as this one goes wants to go up. <laughs> so it needs to be grounded though. And this needs to move forward. And that so as space is being created here it gets grounded. And that goes down, shoulder blades go down, shoulders away from the earth neck length of amazing movement and okay we did this and let's do this also here what happens then okay that's nice so you press really to the heel so this is a very simple movement what is simplicity <laughs> 